Nowadays, I'm too cool for a girlfriend Nowadays, I don't know when the world spins Live your life like we die when the world ends It's alright every time we fucking break a sin Obviously, so much excitement around the Fortnite Nightmare stuff, but we want to go ahead and bring a quick message from Epic on the uh, competitive patch details we're playing on today. So, before we jump into all the action, we want to give an update on what patch the players are on today. It is the version 6.20 update, as we normally mirror what you at home are playing, but in this case, we've made a few adjustments. For this weekend's event, we've disabled both cube monsters and spawners. We believe this will give our players the best potential experience during such an important competition. So it's all about player experience here. We want these guys to be, uh, you know, comfortable, ready to go with what they're on. And I think by the smiles you're seeing, the excitement, these guys are ready to go. Oh yeah, Jack. It's well, time for game one. It's time for game one, brother. Let's get into it, baby. These stacked lobbies—they're all good to go. We are live from TwitchCon. Game one, Heat one. Who will rise to the occasion and potentially have their lives changed this weekend with an incredible placing? Again, life-changing amount of money on the line with the amount of the hundreds and hundreds of thousands of viewers online that'll tune in throughout the weekend. Now, out here, this little set of buildings. This is a pretty common drop for, for Tifu and Cloak. Oh, yeah. A ton of loot concentrated in one area, not often contested. I think most likely because people, players understand Tifu is going to be here every single time. Absolutely. This is his go-to spot. And I wouldn't want to contest it either. And what's funny is you know Tifu's going to be rocking that no skin setup. That's that's his. That's that's just how he is. So you you almost are certain if you land at this area on the map, and you see an, an, a no skin setup, it, it, it's going to wind up being Tifu. A look there. Looks like Chaos probably took about yep. fifty percent of his health off. And he's only got you know the basic burst assault burst. rifle there, and that, and that's rough. Looks like his teammate's going to be pushing up forward. They want to make some sort of play, maybe get into an advantageous position. You saw both these players, no shields, not the case for Tifu and Cloaksy, as they should have a health advantage. You notice who the bottom of oh. screen. Asked down to 10 HP, backing out. Opportunity gets the knock on Chaos, the AR shots. Excellent. Just there. like that. Capitalizing, I mean, this is their, just their drop zone. And immediately gets the heavy shotgun as well. My favorite weapon, uh, you know, to have to swap on over to for that close range engagement. Tifu and Cloaksy, the exact start you expect from two of the best players in the world. You can make an argument for them potentially being the best duo. And that's what the point is of this weekend. Because you see multiple teams, like you said, Tifu and Cloaksy still on the top. He's got retail. the heavy sniper as well. My gosh, we've seen what Tifu can do with this weapon. Ooh, we'll just barely missed that shot. The rotating. Now the make it rain bonus area did just end. We'll have updates for you guys at the end of the game of who winds up taking that home. Or if, we'll, if, if someone, someone took it, it off. Yes, yes, that, if, that is if, very key. If two teams tied oh. on elimination down there, it's going to roll over to the next game. Tifu gets a shot there on Flowers, That's gets the elimination. absolutely three for this squad. That should be a point now for Tifu and Cloaksy. They are on the board. Remember, Cloak got those first two eliminations. It's now, I believe it's almost time for them to go. Now that heavy sniper is more than just a utility for getting eliminations at range. You'll see if we get to the late game and Tifu is built up directly next to someone, they'll use it as a breaching tool too, because it will one-shot any surface that a player builds up. Now, there's that cloak, the, the Tifu and cloak, I can go for the deploy on the glider there, try and get immediate high advantage in the team underneath. These guys are, all, they always, I feel like, have a top-down oh. view of everybody. Oh, but big this time. shots on Tifu. He just got rocked right there. Gonna go ahead and pop these minis and the slurp. We'll put them at around 145 total HP in there. Great use of bandages. The slurp will, if you can get these bandages up to 75, the slurp will fully get him back at 200 HP. Cloak is just protecting him right now. He'll do everything he can while Tifu's trying to heal back up. And we, it looks like there is a team pushing up immediately to the northwest. They're going to build up. Now, because of the glider change, these fights can play out a little differently than we've seen in the past. A little, they a could, lot they could just, they, <laughs> Tifu and Cloak, if they feel like they're going to get shot down, maybe somebody's going to get the height advantage on them, they could just jump off and glide away. Yep. We're uh, getting ready for that storm to move here in 12 seconds. Guarantee you Tifu and Cloak are going to take that glider. This is that high ground. Actually, Tifu and Cloak are split. They have, the oh, crit is right, is stacked between them yep. in the tower that they're in. I'm assuming it. crit. Crit's teammate is down below at the very bottom. But see, Cloak still has a rift to go, so I'm wondering if they use the rift to go right now to get, you know, easy rotations. It looks like they're gonna try to farm a limbs right here. Some great tags, players beginning to glide. Everyone now soaring through the air as it's an all-out race for this next zone. 
waiting, 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 dropping down right at the perfect time. Now Cloaksy on the ground, looks to try to claim one area as his own. This is where the lobbies begin to drop quick. Take a look at that player number on the right side of your screen. Still 30 seconds on this rotation. Nice now down. Ashton now down. You see Bartonologist has been eliminated. The lobby beginning to drop like flies as everyone has begun an all-out assault, Lupo, and this is honestly how you expect it to go. Now the zone, the travel distance in the zone was so far that no one had an opportunity to drop straight into the next safe zone and build up. Everyone was forced into a fight there. The player count still going down. Everyone is still moving. You can see in the top left of the screen for a moment there. People still stuck outside the zone. Tifu and Cloak trying to make their way inside, building up just each layer one at a time and even a, a window there in case they need to cover each other through the layers. The only risk right now with a slow drop is if players down there secure a little box for themselves and look up, they can take shots on a lot of these players that are just floating in. Cloak and Tifu landing and, and, on top of each other. And that's that beautiful communication. Think of that call out, right? Like, look at all the little builds there are. They know exactly which box they want to land on in. 16 players left. We're now moving towards when the bonus points come in for those top placings. Remember, fourth and fifth place, you get a point. Second or third, you get two points. First, the victory royale, three points. Everyone has that on their mind. 12 players remaining. Cloaksy now knocked. Tifu with a quick shot of a heavy will look for the elimination himself. Will he be able to save Cloak? I just don't believe so with the zone moving on in. It's all down to Tifu. He's building on up. Seven players left. I believe he has the high ground for the moment. And it just seems like Lupo, he is always in these positions. This, this is a position we've seen him, seen him in so many times the past through. Four Steel. left. Fall skirmish, summer skirmish. This is, this is, and there you go. Using that heavy snipe as a way to breach through surfaces. It's a 1v1v1. It's a 1v1v1, and Tifu still has the high ground. You cannot make this up. This has all the signs of a Tifu and Cloaksy game one victory here. Oh, I thought he was about to fall on down, but no, doesn't seem the case. Remember, both, all these players still left have each earned two points automatically for their top three placing. But who will get the extra point for the victory royale? The zone moving on in. Only 29 health. For Mitro, this this zone will chuck him on down. There's the quick shot from Hero. Hero. The double barrel, so good. Tifu looks like he's ready for the heal. It's not gonna come on in. Tifu blocked by the tree. But Hero gets dropped by the storm. And just like that, Tifu and Cloaksy set the toad and prove why they are two of the favorites here this weekend. Not even a little surprise, to be quite honest with you. We've seen e Tifu, even while he had the flu multiple weeks in the past. He flew. T flu. Like, just dominating. Still dominating. Absolutely wild. As this man is able to clutch it on up, you see the fist bumps and the pop off there from Cloak. See the excitement coming on in. What a great start here to the weekend. So many players stacked that up. But look, 20 minutes in, there was 49 players left. Five minutes later, we have a winner. That's how crazy the ending zones are. Here it is again. Hero was so low. You saw Tifu popping those bandages. He got absolutely rocked by that double barrel, but he got the bandage off in time. Didn't get ticked by the storm, and there's the celebration from Tifu. And, and, and now you've got to think, how many points did they just earn? Did they wind up getting a full six from that? For getting, uh, how many limbs did they wind up finishing with? Brilliant, brilliant start from them. We'll have to check the elimination count at the end. Hopefully yes. we can get those stats back as fast as possible. But that's got to be, that, that's that's a handful of points early. First 100%, 100%. game. 100%. I mean, the first heat, and they're already showing why a, a lot of players count on them to, to just to guarantee these victories. Oh, yeah. Like we, we, you said, literally in the middle of the game. Tifu and Cloak almost always, I feel like, have that that height advantage. They're always, they always have a top-down view on whoever they're engaging. Yep. The heavy snipe as a way just to take shots from a distance, a little bit of third party. Every once in a while when the opportunity is just right, they'll sit at the edge of the zone and watch people rotate it in. They'll build the, you know, see people building the ramps up and take the shots yeah. every chance they get. And just at the right moment, the communication, we're gonna land, you know, targeting exactly where they're gonna box land. Exactly, so they landed right on top of each other and built up immediately, immediately safe. Yeah, and just like that, they secure the game one victory. Now remember, in these heats, the top 12 teams from each heat We'll move on to Sunday. So already setting the tone for themselves. Just with that, you've got to think of it. They play, what, four games here? A victory royale and one plus some eliminations. That many points in one game? I, I, I feel like it's got to be a guarantee. They're almost the already yeah, guaranteed exactly. a top 12, exactly. right? So brilliant stuff for them. The competition so intense now towards the end. The battle bus is launched, folks. We're getting into game number two. Here it is. A live look at everyone dropping on down. What adjustments will we see? Who will catch the team? 
at the top of the leaderboards. Again, we'll have scoreboards and standings for you guys here soon. Check it out in now. Tifu and Cloaksy still in this game. Tifu with two eliminations. Not sure where Cloaksy stands. So it looks like they're continuing to fight close. So many materials still ready to go. And now with the spray coming from up top, they know let's full spray this wall. Tifu with the knock. This would put him at three, which would automatically be a point. There it is. So no matter what Cloaksy has to his name, they've already earned another point for themselves. The trap! No! The trade there, as I can tell you, Kaysen Monster. is so frustrated at that. Monster's got to be happy with himself that uh, quick heads up play, potentially at that moment, knowing he's not going to win that. Yep. So placing the trap and saying, last second, you're coming You're coming with me. You don't get to survive this. Uh, Deep, look, look. Smelt it, or dealt, dealt it, it, and Blue Hawk, Hawk smelt it. it. So that looks like a quick elimination there from the Stink Grenade. They are very far from this next zone. You pointed out earlier, Tifu sitting on three of his own. Cloak has two, which is five. That's two eliminations for them already, and there's 41 left in this. Wow. So they, they've earned themselves another two points in this game as they continue to, well, run away with the score at the moment. Mowgli they had another rift to go just like last game. So Cloaksy in both and, games has had a rift to go. And Tifu has another heavy sniper rifle. Do they just like, is I'll, there like a, a, uh, something that they spawn these weapons in with? How are they getting th these setups every single game? Look at this. They're just floating on in. They're more than happy. Let everybody else fight yeah. it out. This is where, to be honest, Close everything just goes right insane. There. Looks like maybe a 1v1 there against Sean, stuck up above Cloak. Tifu, just trying to box himself in, put himself in a good position. He's got the grappler. And the, one of the best parts about the change with the glider and the grappler together is you can grapple towards the surface, fly past it, and deploy that glider. Yep. You don't need a structure to jump off of necessarily. You can you can do it off of a tree, anything that's already freestanding. You have a lot of mobility options with that. So Tifu is in a great spot because of it. He just has to make sure that his position as he's flying in, he's got to watch for these rotations. We've seen players, they're not looking up necessarily, depending on what's going on around them. So he doesn't have to potentially worry about getting shot out of the sky. But you've got, th this is the scene on the ground. And I don't blame Tifu and Cloak for avoiding it completely. Yeah. No, they. <laughs> Everything just going crazy. 15 seconds till the zone closes. And look at how fast it's moving now on that mini map. Everything closing on in. Tifu down to just 19 HP. They're on the low ground now. This is looking like a rough, rough spot for this duo. No healing to Tifu's name. No idea if Cloaksy has it in. Let's see if there's a quick pass off here. Doesn't appear so. I think they're out of healing. But look at the number of players still in the field here. Tifu and Cloak still trying to make their way through. You see Sean from Ghost very low. Actually gets eliminated right Tifu's, I, Tifu's on high ground. Right as I say it. I think they're all trying to fight Tifu for high ground. Cloak there goes Cloaksy. He gets Frost chunked. Storm Devious. Tifu all by himself, potentially the very top of the map right now. Hopefully he's out nobody of looks up. That's, so, that's why he's not building the pyramids in that moment, too. He's worried the most right now just about making it into the zone. He can't secure his own builds. And there you go. This is the high. How Tifu. does Tifu always get here? Look at this. How does he always get here? In his mind right now, He's just looking to trim the fat, get rid of as many players as possible. He's not going to win a heal off. He needs to basically handle the rest of the lobby by or, himself or let everyone else here. Or let them handle each other. That's basically what's happening. He yeah. doesn't necessarily have to shoot down. If they're going for placement points, too, there's 10 left, Ooh. 9 left, as I say it. Giganza goes down. JDW, the two players from Mural, six eliminations. Wow. All ready to his name. 40 seconds left on this zone. It's slowly closing on in. We know Tifu can't heal. We know he's got to make some sort of play to drop on down to potentially either stay alive and just hope people forget about him up top. I don't know if you noticed, but Tifu's actually letting them build his floors out underneath yep. him. He doesn't have anything left to, to, oh. to build with. He has to let somebody else secure his own platforms, and they're doing that. Maybe they don't realize he's up there. Four left. Tifu's you, still any another Elim. Three left. He got bandages. Ba no, there's no way. This can't happen again. It's gonna, it's gonna tick way too hard. There's no way he outlives He's the zone. Go He's trying to break on down. The zone the is zone. moving. Tifu spraying down on the hero. He hasn't broken down yet. He's still looking for it. He's gonna try to pop this heal as he's moving with the zone. It's gonna do way too much damage. Yeah, there's no way. You see. Can you believe how his ability to stay alive just wasn't enough? Hey, he, <laughs> he did that all with 19 HP. There was 30 players left when he had 19 health. And then he was, what, second? There you see him with the little flex. As, uh, wow. They get that far, but I believe it was uh, Doc Home that winds up taking the, the actual game itself. And there's a celebration there as players just laughing the victory royale on their screen. No better feeling in Fortnite.
A lot of these players, the, the timing is literally everything for the last second there. Uh, I apologize for not realizing uh, the name uh, of the team that won. The, it, it cuts so quickly. Yeah, Hopefully yeah, we yeah. see that here in a second. Yeah, there he is. So who, who got second and who got third? They like dropped at the same moment. I can't tell. But hey, it doesn't get much better than that. He's got healing outside the zone. He knew it. Look. <laughs> The pop-off, we probably need a new headset there, as that might be broken, but either way, the relief. Again, top 12 teams make it to Sunday. As uh, I'm, I'm taking a look at my screen, I see players uh, set up on in the lobby, so we should be in there uh, in just a few moments now. Got to go back and cover exactly how we made it to this point. I believe we'll have the standings here momentarily for you guys, so we'll take a look and see exactly where everyone racks up. We know uh, we're going we're gonna to take a look at the top 12, which is really the players that are moving on into that would be moving on into Sunday. So it kind of does make sense as we'll uh, be able to catch you guys up. But we saw last game, DK winds up winning that one. But wow. There you go. Sitting at first place, Tifu and Cloaksy from <laughs> phase with 12 eliminations, 10 points to their name. Uh, Ronan and JDW from Hero, 12 eliminations, but only nine points. Mowgli, Norse, a, a yeah. lot of solid players sitting here in the top 12. Wow. There's And, and we're only halfway through this. Jack. Game three, Heat one. Let's the get last, it. The, the finale of Fall Skirmish. Yeah, it's, uh, again, we know our top 12. We saw the leaderboards. Who will hang on to those positions? Who will fall out of it? Who will move on in? Are the questions we begin to ask in games three and four. Tifu and Cloak, we haven't seen too much yet this game. Yeah, Tifu this is, is definitely their quietest launcher. game so far. Banking these grenades. This is their whole focus. They're putting everything into going for these limbs. They keep spraying it down, keep trying to drop them on down. It seems like Tifu is just one ramp away from having open damage on his opponent, but there's the third party now getting involved. Very low medium ammo count. He's only got 26 shots, quite a bit of a uh, That was all of his rockets, left. too. It was. You could tell they wanted they wanted those limbs so badly. Folks, he's got some great, great weapons, though. The silenced epic assault rifle. Another rift to go. Another rift to go. He's had one each game. Every single game. Now might be the uh, the chance to use it. We'll see what they... they got five seconds on the rotation here. He's going to just quick edit to try and get to the resource, the, the ammo and the material hiding behind. There we go. Grab the minis. Has a, a med kit, 15 bandages. They're set up excellently for an end game heal. We've seen There's this still each 47 game. 47 left, though. We've seen this each game, where they just get this extreme high ground. 56 seconds left oh, now. Oh, here we go. Cloak dropping in. Somebody not paying attention. Catches them off guard. Tunnel visioning on the players down below. Not listening for that glider sound coming on in. And now it looks like Tifu and crew, they want this elimination. And they'll get it and be rewarded with some great upgrades as well. The heavy shotgun. Two charges on a grappler. Great. We get to Tifu and Cloak. Yet again, the top-down view, as many players as possible. I mentioned uh, Tifu's ammo, ammo situation earlier, but uh, that handful of eliminations, uh, specifically on Novia and Nubtra, gave him quite a surplus there, sitting over 200. It's like someone trying to land in near their little tower, but Tifu defending as much as he can. Any shot just to spray opponents away, trying to see if he can if, if he can get tags on people rotating. Even if you don't get the elimination, you're going to make people play more defensively. There we go. And now that team is going to have to bunker up behind the tower right in front of, uh, in front of uh, Tifu Cloak. And they're sandwiched between another team. You see the players now just building up ramps in the sky to go for that the, the glider redeploy to reposition. Cloak, a knock in the feed there on oh Barnologist. Oh my Tifu. gosh! He just got hit in the face by a grenade. Glider redeploy saved any previously fall damage might have eliminated in there yeah. just based on the height he was at. The glider redeploy, Cloak. Gets the finish there on Barnalis. Oh. Small rounds to, to take care oh, of business. That, that roof actually just blocked him right there. Some loot down to the right. Will he try to go pick it angle. up? And it's bait! It's bait, folks. He's down to 45 HP. Cloaksy now knocked. This could spell disaster for the duo at the top of our standing so far. 27 health. Gone. Oh. Tifu and Cloaksy with their earliest exit yet. Making that much noise between the grappler push yep. and everybody that started firing as soon as Tifu and Cloaksy got in there. Uh, we should be getting in here momentarily. For me, we knew Tifu and Cloaksy were going to be good. Oh, yeah. They've done better than I expected really? in regards to the points. Yeah. With, with them sitting near first, that's pretty nuts. I knew they were going to be solid, but to have taken the lead from first game and haven't looked back since, they're setting themselves up for a great weekend. 
that can basically coast in this final one. They know they've already basically guaranteed to make it to Sunday. Well, looks like we got the timer up on our screen. Eight seconds, and the battle bus is launching. If you're here at TwitchCon, can you make some noise, please? Ooh, yeah, That's baby. what's up. Game number four, 100 players. Only one team will make it on out who will achieve the epic victory royal. The victory royale that everyone goes for. You're so cheesy and I love it, Jack. The final game of Heat 1. We've got a second Heat today, but... Can I possibly get... Strap in, Jack. This is it. I was going to ask for more water and I pressed the wrong box. That's you what were you were about to ask the internet for water. Now remember, make it rain this game is worth $20,000 because we did not have a, a, a singular winner from last game. So, in the next 10 seconds when Make It Rain begins, this is for double the prize money. Here it is. Who will wind up taking this home? Or will it move on again? Up into the finals on Sunday. Even more money on the line. Here we go. Five minutes, 20 seconds for $20,000. Glokes, he's spamming the grenades down below just to see if he can knock some structure out. Expose his opponent underneath. They gotta just keep going. Ten for it. nades, my goodness. They're not even there. there. That last one might hit. Got shots from the side, gets a bunch of tanks. 35. There's no shield on the target, so the call out on Eternal is definitely a, a get aggressive right now. No shield on the target. The trade out there, Tifu getting Eternal. Elimination. Which means a 2v1 situation now. Mountain's still above them somewhere. Sounds like Tifu is in it and catches him. You see in the feed there, Tifu shotgunning Mountain FPS. The second Elim wiping that team. Folks see Tifu bold. Still alive. Looks like a second team has moved in. It's the Kayun and Ghost. Sean. This is a huge battle right here between Ghost and FaZe. Two of the most prominent organizations in Fortnite competition. So that's, that's a typical way to retake the high ground. Opponent starts to break your front wall. You ramp and then edit out the roof. But Sean spotted it right away and matched his opponent's builds. The spray with the legendary com or the epic compact SMG. It's going to rip all the shield and health down off the one player. I believe the advantage right now is to the duo from Ghost. It looked like that player caught off guard inside the box that was dropped down was uh, Tifu just based on the skin. I'll have to see that though here in a second. Just trying to find, do any replace. Oh, it's Cloak over there on the side. Tifu is building away. And this has become just a maze of different material types. Players trying to figure out which, who owns what walls in here. Because there's been so many replacements of surfaces and yep. edits that have happened. You can't necessarily tell. So at times you're going to see people just, uh, these players just replacing everything that they can with their own structures. But that's fine. Look at T Tifu's resources. He has over 700 wood, max brick, 400 plus metal. That's insanity. Yep. That much material this late in the game, I say late in the game, 58 players remaining, but <laughs> yeah, that's incredibly common at this point. But that's, he can build multiple bases, multiple rotations can happen here. Tunnels, just to establish a relocation. Vic Vicious and Cookie Monster are, are also built up in there. I said earlier, this is going to be a, a, lo a target for rotation because now on top of that, it was center of the last circle. It's the edge of this one. We have two minutes and 38 seconds left on the Make It Rain bonus. S six seconds till the circle closes and we see the next location. Tifu and Cloaks, he's still just spraying. There's another elimination down on the Crashy. They're on the low ground this time around. Not used to seeing Tifu and Cloaksy in this position. All right, Blau, maybe going for a... Oh, oh sneaks a grenade. Did that sneak in there? Oh, just barely missed. Very Look close. at all that loot. You know how badly Tifu wants to try to make a move towards this. And here he goes. Yep, I knew it. It, it. it was only a matter of time. Does get tagged on up once they have another rift to go in their inventory, and you saw that? The heavy sniper on the ground as well. If Tifu can live through this moment. You know he's gonna go for it. This might have all the signs of, of another great end game. It's such a big well. utility piece for this team too. They, we, we've seen in the past, multiple teams will use it as a way to bash through and surprise opponents, just catch them off guard almost immediately. The spray from what looks like, is that the gas station Look building? at his materials. 3,000 mats. Max. Almost max. He could build forever. They're in a brilliant position now. I don't know if they've grabbed the Heavy Sniper yet. I think they're waiting to potentially pop the Rift to go. Heels coming on in. They're just chilling for the moment. Zone about to close. Is it Rift time? Might oh, it absolutely there it is. is. Coming out. And They'll grab the Heavy Sniper with it. And they are gone. From the very edge of the zone. Don't blame them. A good rotation oh, moment. Oh, this is insane. Potentially a couple teams up top. This is a massive hillside, though. 
Oh, yeah. Which means teams are going to be forced to engage if they're caught on the bottom side of this because we're getting very close to the moment where the circle is going to start to rotate. It's going to relocate. Yep. And so players are going to get pushed off of the side of this hill. If you're here at Twitch Counter, if you're, you're watching this at home, do me a favor. In 30 seconds, when this zone starts to move, there are 44 players left. You're going to want to pay the most attention to the feed because there's going to be so much happening. We won't be able to call all of it. You see in the bottom right, some third partying there as players are starting to rotate a little early. Part of the zone is still safe. Players can go for that inside the white circle, just on that north northeast side, build up early. That's an opportunity to catch people rotating too. That, yep. that would be a, a very traditional Tifu and Cloak play too, is to build up just in that spot. <laughs> Literally as I'm saying it, look at look at their position, Jack. Right there. Oh, they're getting launched on though. Or someone's, people are gliding on them. Tifu, Tifu is on the high ground of the new zone, at least for now. This is a this is a straight up build battle right now for Tifu. Looks like he's got the high ground at the moment. Look at the speed at which they're just layering and layering and layering. And every single one of those builds is reestablished too with multiple walls and floor surfaces. Just so <sighs> you can't just shoot out one piece. You have to shoot out multiple he pieces. Basically just build battle two people right there by exactly. himself. And That's just right like that, Tifu. 66 the crit, 33. It's back where he no always shield is. shield left. On the highest of high ground. Campfire, two minis, a full grappler, and still, we saw, actually, we saw Tifu earlier with almost 3,000 materials, and at that point, we just saw he had burnt about 2,000 of it in uh, amidst those fights. How crazy 200 is that? 200 plus man? builds in a 1v2 situation as he's building up the shots down from above, still just trying to spray out every time. If you have the, if you have the ammunition to hold down left click and, and knock out all these structures that opponents are putting up, you're burning through their materials and putting them in a more exposed position but because they can't reinforce. You mentioned if you, if you have the ammo to do it, Tifu does it. He's down to 45 AR shots right now. So he's wasting a lot of his resources. Cloaks, he's only got 80 as well. They've got to make the most of the end of this. Cloak seems like he's found his little pocket where he wants to begin to slay on out from. Falls back in for the launch pad. Now down to just 19 players left. Tifu and Cloaks, he both still alive. Cloaks, he only with 62 HP in total. Nice job blocking those shots at the moment. The next zone about to begin now as it looks like Tifu's in another build battle. And you see, in this build battle, Cloaks, he stops for a second to try to help knock down this opponent to give Tifu Tifu, any help he can get in that engagement. They're back on the high ground again. Cloaksy's turn now to take this role and just shoot down on any unsuspecting enemy. Like go. this. What a shot. Excellent from Trouble Boys goes down. They're to always shotgun. up top. It is nuts, man. They are always one layer above. Look at this. There we go. The top down. It, the advantage there is so substantial because as players are building up to try and get a height advantage mid, mid fight, if Tifu and Cloaks already so have it, Five players left. Bravo and Barnala just going on the zone there. Vilix and Jaganza, I believe, at the high ground now. That Gons should be gets Tifu. The and Tifu, which means it's up to close. Six to grenades. To oh, good, good luck. The chance here. Only a little bit. Ten builds left for Not Vilix. A lot of mats. Dropping grenades in, just anything. You notice he's dropping them ahead of a potential rotation in an effort to, to try and predict where his opponent's going to move to. Not throwing them directly at it. Vilix Tifu and Cloaksy down. The Nanolite gets the Elam there. There we go, Vilex Jaganza. Redemption, Redemption. For the HP. Redemption. The game said, feel good you know what? One health last game, you nearly got it. This one, they get the victory royale, and just like that, they most likely stamp their ticket to Sunday as well. Brilliant stuff from them. That concludes the action here from Heat number one. Now, we obviously saw a lot of great plays, but one standout performer. It's no secret, Tifu. We've got a lot of looks at the eliminations he got in this one. He just knows how to position better than arguably anyone else. You take his abil building ability, yes. You take his sh shooting ability, absolutely. But his positioning is what makes him so lethal in these games. A and, and he showed it time and time again. Just jumping up at the end there. We watched this clip just moments ago, catching a player acid off guard at the back of a semi-truck. and. Literally the first three shots of the, or the three shots that hit to get that elimination cloak there. The quad spraying rockets in just to keep the structure down his opponent. Taking shots through a sting grenade, gets the elimination on Blue Hawk. Tifu and Cloak here though. Man, all day so far. These first four matches. Get, uh, I mean, we said it earlier, almost a guarantee to see them in the grand finals, and I think they uh, they, they showed that there. They showed that and then some why they earned their spot there. I look forward to Sunday, Jack. It's going to be a good day. I hope that they, they rest up. Oh, no, it's, it's, it's going to be great again.
So good, we'll watch it twice. Sure. I'm not mad. As, uh, as again, they wind up. Look at this. Look at this shot. Bing. Stop. Bing. Oh my gosh. He literally goes. As uh, there again. They wound up cruising. They're waiting to see exactly where they stack on up. Floxy and Tifu talking with some other competitors. Again, many of these guys, friends in and out of game. They all have this common passion and love for, for Fortnite. And uh, it's great to see them all live at an event. We'll go ahead and get the full standings list here so you Let's can take, take a look. look. Eight First standings. place, not Fifth, even close. 15 Not points. even close. What a lead. Wow. The team from Atlantis, five points behind. 20 eliminations between the two of them, which is, that's, that is an insane number still. 20 eliminations. Ben, people love hearing us talk, but they love hearing Tifu and Cloxy talk more, and we've got them for an interview. There you go. So they knew it. Yeah, taking knew. selfies. Yeah. Oh, oh hey, guys, sorry. I was uh, not even worth it. Hey, uh, not surprising that Cloak and Tifu take away that dub here in Heat number one. Guys, let's just talk about this, okay? So first off, what is it like, and what was the journey like for you guys making it here? The journey? Like what? Like grinding or like the actual travel? Let's do both. All right. So I mean, the travel wasn't bad. We're uh, staying in LA right now, so it was like a 40-minute flight. We flew up yesterday, but other than that, we've been grinding in scrims, playing in my Discord, other competitive discords, just every day grinding, whether it's solos or duos or whatever. But what do you got to say, man? That's pretty much it. Every single day, nonstop. Probably about 12, 15 hours a day. There you go. Now, what's interesting is you guys have really adapted the, the glider redeploy. And you guys, I mean, you make it look seamless, right? You always have high ground or you're rotating around. I mean, how, how has that changed the way you approach Fortnite? It's changed a lot. Like, um, when like people are rotating, it's so much harder to get kills now or eliminations, I should say. Um, but yeah, other than that, I mean, the, you use less mats now, so more people are building. It changes the game a lot, but what do you think? It changes the game completely. Um, we're saving ammo instead of shooting people out because there's really no point to shoot them out because they're just going to live anyway. But there's a lot more people in game with mats. So that's only kind of hard part. But other than that, it's not really too bad. So, I mean, were you guys coming in being like, yeah, we're going to be the number one duo in Heat 1? Did you guys like falter at any point or was it just like all confidence? Well, I mean, we, I like to come into every tournament like super confident. I think it helps me play better. But uh, we tried really hard the first game. We ended up getting the win. The second game, we ended up getting like, what, second place? And then after that, we're like, all right, screw the win. Let's just, when the horn hits, we're just going to try to get as many eliminations as possible. And that did not work at all. That was It, it didn't work. It didn't work. We chased someone from, I think, Risky Reels all the way to Tomato Bridge. They didn't even get the kill. About uh, 2,000 mats later. <laughs> 12 slow, 10 nades, no kills. So that's what happened. Uh, final question for you. What's it like being able to mix it up with the European players? Um, I mean, I don't really know who I was fighting, so I don't know. I mean, it could have been anyone. We could have not fought any EU players, yeah. so we don't know. So it's just all one big blur. You guys are like, look, we eliminated everyone all the time, nonstop, classic Tifa and Cloak. That's us. I mean, yeah, I mean, the last, the last two games, we were just holding W on people. We were just rushing people. But hopefully, you know. Pretty much, yeah. 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 Well, there you go. Gentlemen, best of luck in the grand finals. Courage, Lupo, back it over to you. See, what you guys don't see is now security just gets Zeke away from them as fast as possible. Yeah. Um, because just grabs him and, and yeah. uh, essentially that's it. They put him ba maybe back in a box. Yep. I don't know how I they think, store I think Zeke. that's actually how Zeke has moved around. Probably. But yeah, uh, great to hear from them. You could tell. Cool, common, collected. No big surprise there.